Hello, and welcome to Guided by Grace, a channel dedicated to deepening our understanding and appreciation of God's redemptive story through His Word. Today's devotional is centered around a passage from Scripture that invites us to contemplate the majesty and holiness of our Creator. In this meditation, we'll take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds, and allow the words of Scripture to speak to us in a new and meaningful way. So join us as we dive into the richness of God's Word and seek to be guided by His grace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, as we prepare to read your holy scriptures, we come before you with humble hearts and open minds, asking for your guidance and wisdom. We acknowledge that your Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May your Holy Spirit speak to us through the words we read, and may we be attentive to the message that you have for us today. Help us to understand your truth, and may it transform our hearts and minds to be more like Jesus. We ask this in his holy name. Amen. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge. And you make the most high your dwelling. No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91 is a beautiful and powerful psalm that speaks to our deepest longings for safety, security, and protection. This psalm is part of a larger collection of psalms known as the Psalms of Ascent which were sung by pilgrims as they journeyed to Jerusalem for the annual festivals. The opening verses of Psalm 91 set the tone for the entire psalm, as the psalmist expresses their trust and confidence in God's protection. The psalmist uses powerful language to describe the safety and security that we can find in God, referring to God as the Most High and the Almighty, and declaring that God is our refuge and fortress. This is a powerful statement of faith that reminds us that we can always turn to God for safety and protection, no matter what dangers we may face. The psalmist then goes on to describe the various forms of danger that we may encounter in life, such as deadly pestilence, terror of the night, and destruction that wastes at noonday. But even in the midst of these dangers, the psalmist assures us that we need not fear, for God will be with us and protect us. This protection is likened to a bird protecting its young under its wings, which is a powerful image of God's tender care and protection. Psalm 91 also contains a number of references to angelic protection, which may have been particularly meaningful to the pilgrims who were traveling to Jerusalem. The psalmist assures us that God will command his angels to guard us in all our ways, and that they will bear us up so that we do not strike our foot against a stone. This is a powerful reminder that we are not alone in our journey, but that God and his angels are with us every step of the way. Finally, the psalm concludes with a powerful promise from God himself, that he will be with us and protect us in all our troubles. God promises to deliver us, to protect us, to answer us when we call, and to be with us in trouble. This promise is a reminder that we can trust in God even when everything else around us seems uncertain and unstable. Psalm 91 is a powerful reminder of the safety and security that we have in God, and it is also a part of the larger narrative of the Bible. The Bible tells the story of God's plan to rescue and redeem humanity, 
and Psalm 9-1 is one of many passages that speaks to God's provision and protection for His people. In the Old Testament, we see how God provided for His people in a variety of ways, from the manna and quail in the wilderness in Exodus, to the miraculous defeat of the Assyrian army in 2 Kings. God's protection and provision were evident throughout Israel's history, and this theme continues in the New Testament, where we see how Jesus provides for and protects his followers in a new and deeper way. In fact, Psalm 91 contains echoes of the story of Jesus, who came to save his people from their sins. The promise of God's protection and provision in Psalm 91 finds its ultimate fulfillment in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, who promises to be with his followers always, even to the end of this evil age. As we read and meditate on Psalm 91, let us remember the larger narrative of the Bible and how it points us to Jesus, who is the ultimate source of our safety, security, and protection. May we be strengthened in our faith and trust in God, knowing that He is with us always, and that He has a plan to rescue and redeem us, both now and for all eternity. Gracious God, we thank you for the powerful reminder of your protection and provision that we find in Psalm 91. Help us to trust in you more fully, to turn to you for safety and security in every situation, and to remember that you are always with us, even in the midst of danger and uncertainty. We pray that you would continue to guide and protect us, and that you would lead us ever closer to Jesus, who is the source of our hope and salvation. May we be strengthened in our faith and empowered to live lives of love and service, knowing that we are held in your loving embrace now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.